I got a call from a guy with an Amphib car. I have secretly always wanted one of these things, so I'm grabbing Bill, and I'm checking it out. Thanks for coming out. How's doing? Pleasure Bill. to meet you. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? The Amphicar, huh? 1964. My god, this is nerd heaven right here. <laughs> yeah, this for sure is, is a car only a mother could love, you know? <laughs> Miss Ruthie, that we call it, is an Amphicar 1964 770. Stands for seven knots in the water and 70 miles per hour on land. Due to my obligations of getting my daughter an education, I'm required to sell the car. I'm looking to get $48,000 for the car. The least I'm willing or able to take will be $45,000. You know what? There's something about it I absolutely love. They're cool cars, man. These were actually advertised back in the day as the sports car that floats. Yeah. They were made in Berlin, <laughs> and a lot of the parts that you see are German parts. The interesting thing is they go with an English motor on the thing. When they originally went to build these, they were going to build 25,000 of them. They ceased production after 3,800 just based on the fact that it couldn't support itself. Pretty labor intensive, and the uh, last thing you want is this thing hitting the streets and sinking. The Amphicar was built from 1961 to 1967. A guy by the name of Hans Trippel, he decided that there was a dying need for people to have a car that goes in the water. They're a real quirky, kind of weird car, and it takes a special kind of guy to own one. Yeah, President Johnson actually owned one of these. Yeah. And the story was, is like in his ranches in Texas or whatever, he'd have a bunch of people over, and he would just like start screaming and yelling that the brakes were out, and he'd drive it into his lake <laughs> uh, just to scare everybody. This right here, though, I dig, though, because this is so... George Jetson. <laughs> yeah, George Jetson. <laughs> yeah. What's cool about this car, it's still an original paint. It is original Looking paint. at the interior, it looks like all original interior on the car. It does have collectability value, you know, so there's always someone for these cars. So how many miles are on it? Uh, originally, there's 9,400 miles on it. That's some low mileage. How many nautical miles? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so um, how much do you want for it? Um, I'm asking 48,000. OK. All right, let's see if it floats. OK. And uh, if it floats, we'll, we'll talk. We're... OK. Can I drive? As long as I got a life jacket. <laughs> I can't wait to take Bill and Rick on a ride in the Amphicar. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wet. And they're going to fall in love with it.